everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is in collaboration with a fellow YouTuber. Her name is Amy Lynn. I will make sure to leave her channel linked in the description box below. Please make sure to go check her out and also subscribe to her channel. She has such great content. She's such a beautiful woman and I'm so happy that we are doing this video together. So for today's video, I am going to be showing you how I did my makeup in high school. I wasn't really into makeup like that when I was in high school, but I did a little bit. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Also, I have a giveaway going on. It ends this Saturday, the 25th at noon Central Standard Time. So if y'all wanna be entered in that, make sure to head over to that video. I will also leave it linked either right here or in the description box below. And in that video, all the rules and details are in there on how to enter. So make sure to check that out and um, yeah, I think that's about it. So let's jump right on in to how I did my makeup in high school So for starters, there's actually one product that I have from high school that I still use Faithfully obviously it's not from then I've repurchased it um, throughout the years, but it is the Pond's dry skin cream I have tried so many moisturizers and a lot of them have broken me out. I do have sensitive skin and I also have um, sometimes my skin can be completely fine um, it's more on the dry side, but more in my t-zone nowadays. Um, it's pretty oily, but I love this moisturizer. I mean, I've used this since I was about 15 or 16 and it stayed with me since and I use it all the time. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply some of that. I would mainly do this after I get out the shower. Um, I wouldn't really wash my face in high school. It didn't really have like breakouts I didn't really struggle with acne or anything like that my skin was pretty my skin was pretty good in high school I didn't really have breakouts or anything like that so I would just get out the shower put this in my face and get on with my day <laughs> so back then I didn't do my eyebrows um, I wasn't really allowed there were some strict rules for us growing up and doing our eyebrows was one of them we were not allowed um, well I was not allowed, I'm the only girl in my family. They were just really thick and really full and they connected in the middle and I wanted to get them done so bad but um, I think I was 17, 16 or 17, I think I was more 17 um, when I got them done my senior year in high school, right before graduation when we were having like prom and I was in um, ROTC so it was military balls and I was like no I want, I want to look like a complete girl you know and um, so I went and I did it. I didn't really know much about makeup growing up. You know, my mom never really wore makeup. She did when she was younger, but her as well, she didn't really have anyone to show her, so she never really got that into it. Um, so me growing up as well, I never really got into it. Um, I would just go in the store and like read what products were for and be like, oh, I, I wanna get that because I want it for this or whatever, you know? Very minimal products that I have here to put on and I actually really wanted to find the foundation that I used and I found it and I was I was on the phone with my husband while I was in the store and I started cracking up this is the exact foundation that I would use and it is the cover girl I don't even know what this is called aqua smooth but I remember because of this big old packaging and obviously the lightest shade I got um, I always got the lightest shade I've always been pale I've never tanned or anything like that so I went out and I got this and um, this is different this like this uh, design this is different but this is the exact same thing <laughs> and I would use this sponge applicator to apply the product so uh, yeah this is what I would use so um, I would just basically use this and then more so in high school I would just put on eyeliner, mascara, this, and a lip gloss. I have not used this literally since high school. Um, so we're just going to put this all over our face, just like I would. Um, and this should be interesting. And I would literally use this. I would use this. I would just put it in. Like that. And I would just paste it on my face. Oh my gosh! It has, it has the same smell. <laughs> oh, that smell takes me back. And I wouldn't drag it down. There was nothing. There was no... Nope, it would stop right there. And since 
this shade is clearly um, darker than my skin tone because it's rare that I would ever find shades um, my skin tone it would you know you can clearly tell that it's not and I would go all up underneath the eye like this and like this I just remember just putting this everywhere. <laughs> this is hilarious. It has the same exact smell. Now I'll basically just blend it in until you can't really see it no more. So you can kind of tell um, the difference because I wouldn't drag it down or anything like that. That was basically that. This feels so greasy. I had no idea what I was doing. I would use powder sometimes and just put that like all over my face. Um, but then I was like, no, that's just too drying and it looks too powdery. So then I went to this because it's like more liquidy. Um, but yeah, mm, no. <laughs> Um, and then I would go in with mascara and I found this in the store too. This is like a classic mascara. Um, I actually haven't worn this in such a long time too, but I would just go in with this. This is the Great Lash Mascara from Maybelline. Um, and I would just apply it to my lashes. So I just apply some. This has such a small small wand and I would just really just like I didn't know anything about technique and I would just be mainly on my top lashes I would apply it I wouldn't apply anything on my lower lashes this is a good mascara I forgot how good this is this was always a classic everyone was rocking this mascara everyone was wearing this mascara so there's that <laughs> I would just put on a black eyeliner on the bottom. I would bring it from all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. And I didn't know why I was doing this. I just liked kind of how it made my eyes look because um, I have blue eyes so it would kind of make them stand out a little bit more. I wouldn't really wear um, lipsticks. If I did, it was more of like a brown nude um, which I have a ton of those but there's one that I would wear towards the end of my high school year and I have it because I recently purchased it because I recently found it and I was like oh my gosh this is scent alone takes me back to high school and it's one of these Victoria's Secret um, lip glosses I don't know the name cuz I think I peeled it off but it's like in this pink tube and it's like right there in the register you know where you're checking out and they have like those little bowls of like lip glosses and like makeup and stuff it's in those section a while back when I was in the store and I saw them I was like oh my gosh let me try and find it and I'm like opening them smelling all the pink ones because like I know the smell I know the smell and I open this one sure enough the smell just takes me right back to high school so this is a gloss that I would wear I would wear this all the time because to me the more shinier your lips were the better um, this is basically it. I wasn't really into makeup, you know, like I see a lot of people that do these videos and they're like, oh, Mac this, Mac that, man, I couldn't even afford Mac. Like, you know, this is what I got and a little bit after high school, I started to put on eyeshadow and it was either, I don't have, man, I had this eyeshadow quad that I would wear all the time and it had a silver eyeshadow in there and like a black glittery one and the two that I found that could match is this Elizabeth Mott one and this is in the shade gunmetal and it was it was something along the lines of this like something silvery blackish type or I would just wear like a glittery black and I have this um cover girl this jewels palette and this black reminds me a lot of the black that I used to wear and I would either have one one of these two colors on my lid like all over my lid it was more so the silver one so just for the sake of this video just to add a little more makeup <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and I would apply with my finger I didn't have brushes everything I use like for example like the 
the foundation, you know, the sponge that it comes with, that's what I use. I didn't have brushes. I didn't know about brushes. I didn't really start getting into makeup till I was, you know, till after I had my daughter. I was 22 when I had her. So that's when I kind of started getting into makeup a little bit more. So when I would apply the eyeshadow, I would really just apply it with my finger and kind of just put it wherever it would go, just as long as it was like on the eyelid. And that was it, the one color. The one color, either the silver or the black, but it was more so the silver. This was it, just some compact foundation, some mascara, some black liner, and some gloss. Um, pretty simple, <laughs> but that was me. To look back how I was in makeup and to see how I am now, like, you know, I just, I give God glory for that because he's blessed my hands to be able to create the art that I create with makeup because to me that's what I see makeup as. It's just art. It's art on your face and there are no rules and it's, it's beauty, you know, to enhance your beauty. You don't need makeup, you know, if you're in high school and you're watching this, you don't need the makeup. Um, you're beautiful just, just as you are. Um, you could tell me I <laughs> this is exactly how I did my makeup in high school and you know I loved it and I loved myself and as long as you're confident in yourself and you love who you are that's all that matters you don't need makeup to cover up I play with makeup um, as a hobby as you know I I love collecting makeup I love um, you know just I love being able to create whatever I want on my face basically with makeup there's definitely a lot that I still have to learn and I still am learning so I'm excited to see like this is basically I'm 29 right now um, this is how I looked basically between 15 and 17 18 around there and you know it's a 10 year difference so we'll see what happens 10 years from now <laughs> god willing that wraps up this video you guys thank y'all so much for watching i had so much fun i think the best part of this video was smelling this again like i did not expect it to smell how it smelled and you know when you smell something it just takes you back and you just have an instant memory of that time or that place and this just brought me way back to high school. I had a good high school experience. It was nice to do this. I had so much fun doing this. I just want to say thank you to Amy Lynn for collabing with me on this video. This was such a great idea and I had so much fun. Again y'all make sure to check out her channel. I will leave it linked in the description box below. By the time you're seeing this, her video will be up as well. So make sure to go check hers out. And thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. God bless you today and always. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.